that's that's the sport. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I tried to give my best. Uh, probably was not my my best day out there. Uh, uh, even if I fight it. Roles just reversed in this match right now. Nadal so used to doing this to his opponents, but it's Rublev that's handing it out right now. The quality continues from the Russian. Oh, he's made it. Fabulous anticipation. Rublev not ruthless enough on that occasion, and what a way to break serve. Oh, that is sensational. My serve was a disaster. Always sad to to lose uh, here, of course, because uh, it's um, it's an important for important one for me, and I, I missed an opportunity to start the clay court season uh, in in the in the right way. Uh, the only thing that I can do is go to Barcelona and keep practicing. What a start this has been from Sitsi Pass! <laughs> Incredible start. Too good. Absolutely brilliant from the clay court master, Rafael Nadal. Well, you've got to hand it to Stefano Tsitsipas. Oh, get out of here. Wonderful hands from Sitsi Pass. What a point! You've got to be kidding me, Adam. Beautifully done from Sitsi Pass. And he's stolen a point there. It's Rafaesque, wasn't it? Just about clings on. Frightening, frightening power from Nadal, and look at that! Rafael Nadal is a champion in Barcelona for a 12th time. The man is quite simply a genius. Rafa Bravo, I mean, how many is that? 28? <laughs> 28 Barcelona titles, uh, not bad. Um, really jealous, but uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you earned it. Alexander Zverev records a third successive victory over Rafael Nadal. Uh, in the 4-2, serving 4-5-2, <clears throat> I did a disaster. So I, yeah, I tried, but uh, it's true that the, the serve uh, was difficult to control today. Um, yeah, well done for him.
It's victory for Nadal. Once more, he is a semi-finalist in this city for the 12th time in his career. Oh, something special from the nine-time champ. Brilliant from Nadal. Nadal moves into his 12th final in Rome. And what will be a 52nd Masters 1000 final for the Spaniard. How on earth did he pull off this pass? it up the tightest of opening sets oh that is quite spectacular Got him. Nadal makes his move midway through this deciding set. He is in a ruthless mood right now. It is a tenth title for Rafa in Rome. He draws level with Djokovic on 36. Masters trophies. Ten here in Rome, eleven in Monte Carlo, twelve in Barcelona, thirteen at Roland Garros. I think uh, have the trophy with me again one more time here in Rome. Tenth is yeah. I, I really wanted this this tenth here in Rome. No? Uh, uh, was one of the first uh, important titles that I won in my career. Uh, and after achieving ten in Roland Garros, ten in Monte Carlo, ten in Barcelona, I really wanted this <laughs> this one. Rafa Nadal, of course, the heavy favorite to win once again here at Roland Garros. And this would be some incredible history. Not only 14 titles here, but 21 major singles titles overall. Oh, Rafa's been basking in the glory uh, of winning the title here for the past four years. So looking for his fifth straight Roland Garros title. He's done things here that no one has done in history, but his image will... Rafa Bonnet. And yeah, it's a moment to enjoy today. The semifinals now all set at the French Open. The top half men's semi now feels like a final. Nadal versus Djokovic. Uh, the reason that these two are actually meeting in a semifinal, which uh, has fans feeling robbed, is that Nadal slipped to number three in the world rankings behind Djokovic and Daniel Medvedev. So he ended up on the same side of the draw as the world number one. Seems a little bit ridiculous. Rafa, are you able to indicate what is the best thing and what is the worst thing about playing Novak Djokovic? Well, best thing is you know that uh, you need to play your best tennis. You know, it's a big challenge. And that's something that uh, is good because in some way uh, we are practicing, we are uh, living uh, the sport or this sport for these moments. So that's uh, a good thing. The negative thing is it's difficult because you play against one of the best players of the history, but that's uh, that's how it is. It's not like any other match. I mean, let's face it. You know, it's the biggest challenge that you can have playing on clay against Nadal in this court that where in which he has had so many uh, six, so much success in his career. It doesn't get bigger than that. Each time we face each other, there's there's that extra tension and expectations and. Uh, just the vibes are different. 
you know, walking on the court with him. That's that's why our rivalry has been historic, I think, for, for this sport. I would probably pick Rafa as the biggest rival I've ever, ever had in my career. The anticipation for the match against him, any match or any surface on any occasion, is always different from any other. So the scene is set for the second semi-final of the day here in Paris. <laughs> the pressure he puts on his opponents. Relentless brutality that has its own beauty. What a fabulous set of tennis that was. So much to admire from both, but it's Nadal who seals it. Six games to three. Stadium, these fans who've watched one player so dominant on this surface for four years running. And for the first time, someone is yes, pushing. See. Someone's threatening to take his crown. Incredible to say you've never seen him miss hit so many balls. been under control most of the time. He was better than me. So it's definitely a big win. It's the match I will I will remember for, for a long time. Ah! 
Sure. Could see it and responded beautifully. sets of that infamous match against us sits in yes. the tiebreak in Australia. You don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. So courageous. Every point. Like it's the last one he'll ever play. That's the way Nadal approaches his tennis. He has since the minute he stepped onto the tour. Saves a set point. But that philosophy against Nadal doesn't work on the surface. You have to take it to him. Nadal doesn't give you mistakes. Not very often. It's like seeing a unicorn. It's a volley he never misses in his career. Djokovic wins it. One of the greatest sets of tennis I have ever witnessed. described as an epic encounter between these two. It's now or never for Rafa. Djokovic, a 
the very height of his powers. Oh. One of the best matches of all time. And it's Novak Djokovic who's eventually prevailed. Nadal out in the center of the court, showing his appreciation and hearing it as well. That's, that's tennis and the player who get used to the conditions uh, better is the player who deserves to win, so no doubt he deserved to win. Rafael Nadal here in Paris has done the unthinkable. Never ever say die, Rafael Nadal. Insanely good tennis from Rafael Nadal.